Why, hello there, kind stranger. Where art thou headed? We art headed home in the country. Nobody hath taken us in for the night, and we have all that we need, so we ended up here in the square for the night. Surely nothing bad will happen to us in the square. No, 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 that's actually not the best idea, for thee might roll over in thy sleep, exposing thy buttocks to unwelcome penetration. My lord, I implore you, my place, slumber party. Um, very well, I, I guess we'll slumber at thy pad. It is good you have visited. Thou art most welcome to stay at my crib for the night. Nah, we're good. We shall chill in the square for the night. Surely nothing bad would happen to us in Sodom Square. No, 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 no. That's not actually the best idea. For thee might roll over in thy sleep, exposing thy buttocks to unwelcome penetration. My lords, I implore you. My place, slumber party. Very well. I guess we'll slumber at thy pad. Yo, old man. Bring out that fine specimen of man meat who are in thy house. We are feeling awfully rapey tonight. Rain, rain, rain! No! Don't do this evil thing! Look! Thou can have my guest's concubine and my daughter who is still a virgin. Gang rape them instead. My treat! Yo, lot, bring up those fine specimens of man meat who are in my house. Every man in the city is feeling awfully rapey tonight. Rape, 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 rape. I have two fine ass daughters with tig old bitties who aren't still virgins. Look, I shall bring out my daughters and I can gang rape them instead. My treat. Beautiful females? A virgin? Blech. Who the hell dost thou think thy are, hogging all your guests' anus? Out of our way! Beautiful virgin females? Uh, who the hell dost thou think thy are, hogging all those angelic anuses? Out of our way! God, what the hell are you up to now? Me? Huh? W what do you mean? A guy waited in the town square until an old man offered him shelter. Then a bunch of dudes surrounded his house and demanded to rape his guest. So the old man offered his virgin daughter and the guest's concubine to rape instead, neither of which they wanted. Uh, yeah? So? So, that's Judges 19. Judges 19 doesn't seem at all familiar to you? Uh, nope. Oh, come on. Genesis 19? Sodom and Gomorrah? Your angels waited in the town square until an old man offered them shelter, then a bunch of dudes surrounded his house and demanded to rape them, so the old man offered his virgin daughters to be raped instead, neither of which they wanted. Okay, 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 you got me. It's just that the prequels were so lackluster, and I just- Prequels? Yeah, you know, the, the origin story, the flood, the Tower of Babel. Those were the Sodom and Gomorrah prequels? Yeah, and they brought in a decent audience, sure, don't get me wrong, but people love that Sodom and Gomorrah shit. And I'd kind of like to do some sequels, you know? Recapture that magic. But, God, it, it looks like you're just rehashing the exact same story. It's a soft reboot, Jeffrey. Okay, but don't you think you should at least change it up a little bit? Huh, good point. I should do something to... to subvert expectations this time. Right. Maybe this time, don't blow up the entire town. How about that? Good idea, Jeffrey. Hey, you know what? Since we're doing things differently, this time, they'll actually rape the dude's concubine. Uh, no, wait, God! 
totally unexpected, huh? They raped her all night, and now she's dead. What a twist! God, this is sick. Uh, thank ye for the rape block last night, but it's time to go. Get up! Now what? Now... He... Chops her into twelve little pieces and FedExes a piece to each of the twelve tribes of Israel. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um... God? Oh, and click that little bell thingy. Uh... Come here, please. What do you want? A little closer. A little closer. Oh, come on, Jeffrey. Nobody is gonna see that coming. Talk about subverting expectations. That's nothing like the prequels or the originals. Yeah, but why? Because it will outrage all of Israel, that's why. They'll see that this woman was raped all night, and they'll say, that they've never seen such a thing before, and that they should do something about it. But how will they know that this woman was raped all night just by seeing a severed body part? Like, is the tribe that gets an elbow going to recognize it as the elbow of a woman who was raped all night? Jeffrey, how else are they going to communicate? They don't have YouTube, or Twitter, or Facebook. They got chop a bitch up book, okay? The only way to get this information all over the country quickly enough is to chop her up into little pieces and hope that people can tell what the elbow of a rape victim looks like, okay? How? Oh, stop nitpicking, Jeffrey. It's a solid plot, okay? So, moving on, all the tribes vow to never give any of their daughters to the Benjaminites to marry. So, they punish all the Benjaminites for the actions of the few? Yep, but that's not all. They all gather before me and consolidate into a great army of 400,000 men with swords. And they all march over to the Benjaminites together and demand that the evil rapists get turned over for justice. Okay, well at least that's a better outcome than nuking a whole city filled with men, women, and children. Not so fast, Jeffrey. Oh boy. The Benjaminites will refuse to turn over the rapists. So Israel will ask me what to do. And I'll give them my blessing to wage a bloody civil war. They'll send all 400,000 of those troops to fight against 26,000 Benjaminites. Well, I guess that's the end of the Benjaminites, then. Mm, not so fast, Jeffrey. Oh, boy. Let's subvert expectations again. On the first day, the Benjaminites will kill, say, 22,000 Israelites. What? Then... They'll ask me if they should keep fighting, and I'll be all like, Hell yeah, keep fighting, yo! And so they do. And because they listen to God, they win? Mm, not so fast, Jeffrey. Uh -huh. The very next day, they'll lose, say, 18,000 troops. Even though you told them to fight? Yep. Well. That's 40,000 dead Israelites so far. But on the third day, they'll come before me extra whiny, extra grovelly, and extra sacrificey. So then I'll tell them that I'll let them win if they go ahead and fight again for the third time. So they'll go forth and kill most of the Benjaminite army. Are you not entertained? Oh, and you know that town where that concubine was raped 
Yeah. They'll put that whole town to the sword. And only 600 Benjaminites will be left. The survivors will retreat into the wilderness. So between the city and the troops on both sides, we're looking at around 100,000 dead people, ballpark? Sure, sure. But we ain't done yet. Of course. The Israelites will come back to Benjamin and put every town to the sword, including all the animals, and burn everything. So basically the exact same result as Sodom and Gomorrah, but even more cities. True. But I need to tie it up, you see. You know, the, the story, it's got a rhyme, you know, like poetry. So you, you, you don't want to subvert expectations anymore? No, 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 no. You see, all of a sudden, the Israelites will feel really bad about vowing not to give the Benjaminites any of their daughters to marry. Why? Because they don't want to lose one of their own tribes, that's why. But they just killed thousands of them! There's only 600 of them left, all dudes! They killed all the women, they killed all the children, and even the animals, and you even told them to fight, knowing this would happen! Right, right, but there's still 600 of them, Jeffrey, so we can still save the tribe, see? The Israelites feel so bad about nearly wiping out one of their own tribes uh, that they set off to a town that did not show up to fight, kill all the men, kill all the women, and kill all the children, except for the virgin females. You know, just like I told them to do to the Midianites back in Numbers. And then they hand those virgins over to the 600 Benjaminite survivors to marry. You're welcome. They regret killing their own people. So they go out and kill even more of their own people as punishment for a town that did not make the mistake of killing their own people? Yeah, but not so fast, Jeffrey. Oh my god. There will only be 400 virgin women captives. So that leaves 200 Benjaminites high and dry, if my math is correct. So the Israelites will instruct the 200 Benjaminites left to hide in a vineyard near a festival where the women are dancing so that the Benjaminites can jump out, each kidnap a woman for themselves to marry, and when the women's families inevitably object, uh, the Israelites will simply inform them of their little dilemma, and they'll all be cool with it. Bam! Easy. Done. So, would that conclude this little sequel trilogy, God? Yep. A woman is raped, so her husband chops her into tiny pieces to outrage Israel, who then goes to war with the tribe the rapists belong to, with God's instruction and blessing. And they kill thousands of each other. They burn towns, kill women, children, and animals. Feel bad about leaving the rape tribe without women, so they murder an entire town, take their virgin women family members to rape. And when that's not enough, they literally resort to kidnapping a couple hundred more women to rape. And that is the resolution to a civil war that started over a rape. Aw, oh, this shit's gonna be good. So, did this guy get like 12 couriers together to deliver body parts? Jeffrey. Or was it like a few couriers that dropped off body parts to tribes along the way? Uh, Jeffrey. Like, how did that conversation go? 
Hey, I need you to deliver this severed head for me. Oh, and you get a piece of leg, and you get a chunk of torso. Just shut up already. So these dudes traveled across the country for weeks carrying stinking pieces of human flesh. <sighs> and they get to a town, slam down a chunk of flesh, and be all like, this used to be a woman. She was raped by some Benjaminites. You're obsessed. Like, if someone wanted to invade Israel, they could just chop up some people, send them across the country, and tell each tribe that the body parts belong to the rape victim of some other tribe. Oh, uh, no, no, because... They consulted me first, remember? Oh, that's right, because you'd be all like, Aw, uh, no, those body parts are just a trick to get you to kill thousands of each other like I told you to do the last time you saw some body parts. What, so I shouldn't punish rape now? By condoning something that results in even more rape? Okay, genius, what would you do? Well, I mean, rape didn't even make it into the Ten Commandments. Well, I... You know, maybe that could be a start creator of the universe. Okay, but- I mean, you made damn sure there was a commandment about not talking shit about you, but rape? Oh yeah, I forgot about rape. Don't talk shit about God, because God's ego is that fragile. You little son of a see, bitch. See, 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 I told you, I told you.